Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I rise today in strong opposition to H.R. 26 and urge my colleagues to instead support my motion to recommit to take up and pass Representative Judy Chu's Women's Health Protection Act that will restore the protections that we had under Roe versus Wade. If there's one thing this last election showed us, it's that the American people believe strongly that every woman in this country should have the ability to make her own health care decisions, including abortion. Sadly, however, if there's one thing this past week showed us, it's that the House Republicans just don't care at all about that. They don't care that 61 percent of the American people strongly support a woman's access to abortion care. They don't care that just two months ago, a record number of Americans showed up at polling locations across the country to overwhelmingly reject the GOP's plan to criminalize abortion care. They don't care that in every state, every state where abortion restrictions were on the ballot, they were rejected overwhelmingly in places like Kansas. They don't care that Americans think that people not politicians make, should be making these decisions. Apparently, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle think they know how abortion decisions should be made, not a woman and her doctor. So instead of taking heed of the, of the will of the American people, my Republican colleagues are intending to do just the opposite. The legislation before us today is part of a concerted effort to fast track this extreme agenda of anti-choice uh, uh, legislation. It creates new criminal penalties for health care providers that fail to preside spe provide specific standards of care that the politicians on the other side of the aisle will enact after a, an attempted abortion. And uh, um, it, so it doesn't really protect newborn children in any way. Why? Because if a child is born, it is already illegal to kill it, as, as it should be. And, and unlike what the majority leader said, it's already illegal in every single state in this country. It's illegal to kill people in this country. But just in case anybody was confused about this, as Chairman Nadler said, in 2002, Congress passed the Born Alive Act, and all of us, including me, the co-chair of the Pro-Choice Caucus, voted for it because clearly, clearly, if the baby's born, we shouldn't kill it, duh. So what does this bill do? What it does, as I said, it creates criminal penalties for healthcare providers that don't do what the Republicans think they should do, and it creates new complicated standards that will make it harder for healthcare professionals to do their jobs. I ask for another minute, Mr. Chair. I yield the, the gentlelady another minute. And, the and hopes, uh, so what it does is it hopes to deter doctors from providing abortion care in the first place, which is exactly what we saw after the Dobbs decision. This is not what the American people signed up for, folks. I strongly urge my colleagues to reject these extreme measures and instead to support my motion to recommit to take up and pass the Women's Health Protection Act to ensure that everybody in this country, no matter where they live, has the access to the reproductive care they ask. I ask unanimous consent, Madam Speaker, to add the text of my amendment to the record immediately prior to, or to, the, to the text of the motion to recommit to the record immediately prior to the vote on the motion to recommit. Without objection. Thank you, and I yield back.